let's take a look at how corporations can hedge foreign currency receivable. Before we do that, let's briefly talk about different types of foreign currency exposure multinational corporations face. First, you have transaction exposure. So this is referring to a situation when a firm is expecting to receive or pay a cash flow that is denominated in foreign currency in the future. Since we do not know what the future spot exchange rate is going to be, we do not know the dollar cost of making foreign currency payable or dollar proceeds of receiving foreign currency uh, receivable. So then depending on the future spot exchange rate, um, the dollar proceeds or dollar cost can be higher or lower than you expect. But the upside of transaction exposure is that it is very well defined. You know the exact amount of cash flow that is subject to foreign currency, uh, um, uh, foreign currency risk. The second, you have economic exposure. So this is referring to the sensitivity of the firm's overall value to movements and exchange rates. So for example, currency depreciation or appreciation can affect a firm's competitive position in its industry and therefore affect the firm value. So obviously, it's pretty hard to define and measure exposure like this. Then third, you have translation exposure. So this is referring to sensitivity of the firm's accounting financial statements to changes in exchange rates. As we know, multinational corporations produce consolidated financial statements by compiling numbers from their, uh, numbers from their subsidiaries. And these subsidiaries will often prepare their financial statements denominated in foreign currency. So all those financial statement numbers denominated in foreign currency, those numbers have to be converted into the main currency that is used at the headquarters. So for example, it would be US dollars for American company. Uh, so translation exposure is uh, referring to the sensitivity of the financial statements to exchange rate movements. So our focus is transaction exposure here. Um, so when it comes to transaction exposure, you can have foreign currency receivable again or foreign currency payable. So we are going to take a look at foreign currency receivable in this series of videos, but we also have another series of videos that show you how corporations can hedge foreign currency payable. So make sure to watch those videos. So suppose you are a US exporter of soybeans and you, you just received an order from the UK worth 100,000 pounds and you are shipping the soybeans, but you will be receiving the payment in one year's time. So obviously you do not know what the uh, future exchange rate is going to be between pounds and dollars in one year's time. So you are concerned that the dollar proceeds from this sale is going to be higher or lower depending on the future spot rate. So you will be receiving 100,000 pounds, so you know this amount, but you do not know whether 100,000 pounds will be uh, converted into $150,000 or $130,000 or $120,000, etc. So you do not know the dollar proceeds from this sale. So we are going to work with this simple numerical example. Um, we're going to assume that the forward exchange rate is $1.50 per pound. Right now, the spot exchange rate is $1.48 per pound. Uh, interest rate in the US is 5% per year and 8% in the UK. And uh, we're going to assume that call and put options are available on pounds. Call option with the strike price of $1.50. Uh, which means that if you purchase this call option, it will give you the right to buy pounds at the price of $1.50 and you obviously have to pay for this uh, option or for this contract and the price is 10 cents per pound. Similarly, you also have put options available with a strike price of $1.50, which allows you to sell pounds for $1.50, but not the obligation. And you have to pay a premium of 15 cents per pound for this contract. So let's take a look at a situation if you do not hedge. So if you do not do anything, uh, suppose in one year's time, future spot rate happens to be $1.35. And that means you will be receiving your £100,000 uh, foreign currency receivable from the UK and you will be selling £100,000 uh, into dollars at the price of $1.35 per pound, which means you will receive $135,000. But if future spot rate happens to be $1.50, you will be receiving $150,000. Or if future spot rate happens to be $1.60, you will be receiving $160,000. The bottom line is you do not know the exact dollar amount 
uh, that you will receive from this foreign currency sale and the total dollar proceeds depends on the future exchange rate which means you are subject to exchange rate risk so this is if you remain unhedged so obviously your concern if you remain unhedged is that you don't know exactly how many dollars you will receive for selling these soybeans so if you hedge your objective with hedging would be that you want to know the exact amount of dollars you will receive from the sale in one year's time or at least you want to know the minimum amount of dollars you will receive from the sale in one year's time so this is your objective for hedging so when it comes to hedging foreign currency receivable um, we are going to take a look at three hedging strategies so you first have forward hedge which simply involves using forward contract so that means you will be either agreeing to buy or sell foreign currency at the forward rate um, in the future since in our case our concern is that we will be receiving pounds in one year's time therefore we will need to convert pounds into dollars in other words we will need to sell pounds into dollars in one year's time so that means we are concerned about the price at which we will be selling pounds into dollars so we want to get into forward contract and agree to sell pounds at the forward rate by taking a short position on the forward contract this way you lock in the future uh, forward rate or you lock in the future exchange rate at which you will be selling those pounds for dollars so this is one method another a hedging strategy is money market hedge here you will be borrowing in foreign currency or you will be borrowing in pounds against your foreign currency receivable and then you will use that pound loan and sell those pounds right now at the spot rate uh, and turn them into dollars and invest your dollars in the US so in one year's time when you have to repay your loan you will simply use the foreign currency receivable or the hundred thousand pounds that you're expecting to receive from the uk and use that to close or repay your loan third hedging strategy is the options hedge here again remember that our focus is at which rate will i be exchanging my pounds into dollars we will have pounds in, pounds in one year's time and so we need to convert pounds into dollars or we need to essentially sell pounds for dollars so we will buy put options which will give us the right but not the obligation to sell pounds at the strike price of dollar 50 which happens to be the number in this example so we will buy put options instead of call options um, if you want to use, use options hedge uh, for foreign currency receivable.